I'm here to discuss doing a mail merge. We're using Office 2016. Basically, it has been the same way for the past 15 years, Office 2002 forward. We have a letter written here. As you can see, I have in capital letters what we're putting in. You can create this from the beginning. Often we are working with existing files, databases, etc. You can merge with another Word file, a spreadsheet, an access database, um, and text dumps. Well, and this is the list of the people that we're doing. One thing I have to show you, if you have zip codes, like in Connecticut, or New England, I should say, and New Jersey, it says 6807. It's formatted with a special thing here, adds a zip code, it puts a zero. You merge and you're doing zip codes with an Excel file, you're not going to get the zip codes. However, you could take this, you could copy it into Word. You might want to keep this in a more, what I would say, order, orderly fashion. And I'm going to save this as a CSV. I'm just going to click on File. I'm going to click on Save As. And it's going into the folder here. I click over here. And I see where it says CSV, um, comma, delimited. And I'm going to go down to this one here. Uh, they should work, but I'm just going to use the basic CSV as we go and progress with technology. Everything gets more complex. Okay, I'm going to merge. You cannot have a file open where the data is, so I'm going to close this out. So I'm going to start working on this. And we've had this mail merge wizard for years. I click on mailings at the top here. I click on start mail merge. I'm going to use the wizard. Step by step, six steps. You can do letters, envelopes, labels, a bunch of things here. I am doing letters at the beginning I will complete this by doing a label so that way we can mail their playing cards to them uh, so that was step one next I need to, I'm going to use what I have open okay you just read the menus it's like the web you click here select recipients I'm gonna browse and what it is here I have to go to my flash drive where I have this it's in a folder called prize letter I always tell people if you're doing these merges have them all in one folder because it's going to look for things later on if you have to reopen and do an edit. So I see nameless CSV. Double click on it. It's showing things in here. A lot of powerful things here. You can sort, filter, remove duplicates. Like if you're doing a wedding, you could just invite six people from that whole list. So let's just keep everybody there. Say OK. Now we're going to go to the next step. Write your letter. And what it is here, if you use the address block, that is when you do a standard thing here, but this is not standard. I have name and addresses here. What I have to do is add each field. I'm going to delete this. And I go into more items. We got the name street, D D D D D. So first line will be name. You cannot drag and drop, unfortunately. I would like that feature. Uh, it takes a moment. Name. It's, I double clicked on it. I close. I hit the Enter key. And then I'm going to go to the next line. More items. Street. Close. More items. City. Close. It's city. You have to put in the comma and the space here. Otherwise, it goes in together and looks really gross. More items. State. Close. A couple of spaces before the zip code. You have to remember to type those in. However, if you preview it, you'll see if you made a mistake. So I close out of here. Now I want to say dear name. I'm going to delete that. I highlighted it. Dear more items name it's gonna say mr. And mrs. Smith close and as you can see I did not put in the space put the space in got that prize level they won first third or whatever delete that more items prize level close again make sure you have those spaces I'm gonna zoom this up a bit 
so you can see I always put the paragraph markers on so I know what I am doing I know people don't like doing this um, it's great when you're typing to shut it off now the award where they get the playing cards I delete that I have a space more items award close we're in good shape now one thing I'm going to mention here see how you have all this excess space you want to be tighter spacing I'm going to show you this as a really brief lesson here you highlight those three lines don't ever type anything in between you'll uh, mess things up I'm on the home tab I'm going to click inside here what I'm going to do I'm going to say remove space after paragraph and then if I want a space here for the letter that way things look good I always save as I go along I just hit the save button or the control s we have to go to the next step preview your letters this looks good I can also shut it off uh, that you want the constellation and here under separate cover that's giving you this grammatical thing here um, and if I go to a few more here um, I could exclude him if I want I could preview and let's say wow um, I should have left the word prize there okay watch this I'm gonna go to the previous step you won the Now I go into here, the next step. Oh, that's great. Okay, I hit the arrow here. And it's showing things here that it looks a lot better. And things are matching up and everything. So we have that done. We go to the next step. We complete the merge. You could print. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to waste 400 sheets of paper. I could say edit individual letters. I could do all of them. And, and I'm just going to say merge records. I have a new document, okay? You don't need to save this one because it's going to take a minute here. You can see the numbers whirling in the lower left-hand corner. So we got that done. Now let's say we want to do some labels. You could print it. I always say proofread. If you're doing printing on letterhead, make sure you set the margins correctly. So I'm going to create a new blank document. I have to do a label to ship the gifts to them. So I'm in a new one here. I click on mailings. Start mail merge. I am doing labels. And I didn't want to do it that way. I'm going to hit the cancel. I'm going to hit start mail merge. I'm going to use a wizard, okay? And I'm going to do labels here. Label options. You choose the style of labels. I am doing the Avery 5160, which are three up. This could be a little bit frustrating sometimes. I'm going to click inside Avery here. And I'm trying to find the 5160. It's not in this list here. I go into Avery US Letter. And I'm going to see if I can find the 5160. Oops scroll up a little bit I could, I could click here and hit the number five these are the ones I always stick with Avery brand I've had better luck than no name brands I say okay they're expensive but it's okay so I'm gonna put I'm gonna go on the home tab I'm going to put on those paragraph markers. You're getting all these little doodads there. It is a table, okay? So what I'm going to do here, I have to select the recipients. I have to browse again. And then I go into my drive, my folder. I go into nameless CSV. It's going to populate the thing here. Let's say I just want to use one category. I'm going to click on filter. And then I could go into field. I could scroll down here because I click on prize level. And then I could type in, let's say, I'm just going to type in consolation. Is it going to find them? Yes, it is. 
I scroll over here we've eliminated other people and I could sort this by zip code let's keep this simple we've narrowed it down you get this thing here you only have to do the first one couple of important steps when you're doing this we're doing the first one here before I go into here I want everything to be single space control A is all so what I do now I'm on the home tab I go into here I'm going to make it single space because you might have extra lines if you're doing like international uh, apartments you could have three lines just for street street suite number I click inside here again and I say remove space before paragraph okay now I go into here I'm gonna do the labels next I go to the next step more items so I'm gonna do name first close hit the enter key I click on more items street close hit the space bar after street of course street we oh, yeah we have that there now we're going to do city state zip more items city close comma space more items S state close more items zip close so that is done what we have to do now so we don't end up printing up 6,000 sheets you click on update all labels it puts all the fields into here we say next preview your labels it's showing them all and if I say next complete the merge I am going to say edit individual labels I'm just going to say all of them it's going to zip through this it takes a second I could shut off the paragraph marker for now and you're going to get a bunch of sheets here so if I do a print preview you can see how I'm getting many hundreds of labels so this is what we've done in here it's relatively easy just take your time especially with the labels if it looks ugly and you're missing spaces you understand what I'm saying